Hello everybody and welcome back to Connor here. Hope you're doing fantastically well and it's your weekend. We've got some more content, some absolutely brilliant content coming out from In Full Swing, if I do say so myself. But listen, we're here with something very, very different, something I wanted to bring into my content. It's the tier list. We've all seen them on every other person's channel, but I ain't done them. So I'm bringing them in with help from my friend Johnny LUFC, part of the Discord server, part of the suggestion mould here at In Full Swing. Check Johnny's Twitter out. Should be on screen right now. Check Johnny out and yeah, listen, I'm really excited to do this one. This is something I've wanted to do for a while. I love kits, as you can tell in every video. I've got a kit every, you know, I've got all the training gear and everything like that. I am that full kit guy who gets on the bus with shin pads on. Do you know what I mean? And some deco boots. Black on deco boots. But anyway, let's get into it. And um, today we're going to be doing the ranking of Leeds kits from 1993. Now, it might be a little bit of a longer video. I'll try to condense it in the edit. I'll try to make it visually appealing. But the reason I'm doing this is because I was born in 1993. So from 1993 onwards, I had kits when I was a baby, all this sort of stuff, which I still have in the house. So I wanted to do it from 93 onwards. So let's get into it. As the categories on screen are top class, very nice, pretty decent, not very good, and wouldn't be caught wearing them. So we're going to do them in twos as well, because I thought doing them individually would have taken ages. So <laughs> we're going to do them in a sort of in a sort of like bracket of kits. And yeah, let's get into it. So the first one is this little number, which is the 1993 to 1995 Leeds had this kit, and it's the sort of the iconic blue yellow kit and obviously the home kit at the bottom, the white Thistles Hotels. Now I love the Thistle Hotels one of, of the next year, sort of 95 to 96, but this one's very good as well. So I'm going to go with these two, pretty decent. I think they are pretty decent. I think the top draw, I still think we've got top draw kits everywhere, but I think this one it is very good, but I don't know if it's top level yet. Let me know in the comment section below. By the way, guys, if you disagree or agree with any of these, and we can have a little bit of a debate. That's what this is all about. Now, the next one, this beauty. I have got both of these kits, 95, 96 season. The legendary shirt behind, which reminds me of Yeboah, uh, Dorigo, who we've had on the podcast, Brian Dean. And then, obviously, we've got the, the Thistles Hotel one, which reminds me every single time of the legend that is Gary Speed. Reminds me of him every time. And, yeah, I absolutely love these kits. They're absolutely stellar. Top draw. I was chuffed when I got both of them. So these go straight up to top class for me. Um, now we go for 96, 98. And um, this period, obviously, is pro probably a little bit beforehand. But this sort of reminds me of the George Graham days. So I'm going to put these. I like these. The clean kits. I'm going to put these in very nice. Now, obviously, that was 96 to 98. But now we're going to go with 98 to 99. As I said, this is very, very similar to the George Graham era. And this is when we're sort of getting into the O'Leary stages here, which was my initial break in to Leeds United, really, from memory anyway. Um, but these kits, they're quite nice. I wouldn't say they're amazing. I think we've got a lot better kits than these. I don't know what you think in the comment section below. Um, I can't be too biased. I've got to be equal. But I think we might have to fill all four voids here. And if you hate me, I apologise. But it's just what I think. I don't think these are very good. I don't like the away kit either. And they come as a package. That's the video we're doing. They come as a package. So if one's good but the other's naff, we've got to equal it up, haven't we? Now this is... Oh, these two are absolutely beautiful. The white kit rem reminds me of... Um, I believe it was this kit. I'm not sure. In fact, I don't think it was. Obviously, this is the one which has the um, yellow sort of Packard bell as well. As well, guys, with the third kits, we've not involved those. And I know a lot of you might get angry at that. But we haven't involved the third kits because this video will go on for about 30 minutes. So we've just kept it simple at the two kits. The home, the away. I'm sure you can appreciate that. Don't hate me for that. But the away, the third kit here, or the away kit is the sort of the yellow kit, which it hasn't been involved here. But this is the one I only could find on the internet and chop and change. So the blue one and the white one, these are two which I absolutely love. So these are going to go into the top class. Now, 2000 to 2001, the days of Rio Ferdinand, Nigel Martin, Danny Mills, Judas, Viduka, uh, and co. Absolutely amazing times. And these are the times before everything went wrong. And these are the times that I remember and loved and, you know, cherished, you know. Mark Viduka, four, was my first my first game, first goals as well. The ship to 6-0, another Champions League game that I fondly remember. Got pictures all around the house of it. So, yeah, I'm going to go 2000, 2001, fond memories. And I'm probably going to affiliate this with 
just as I've just said, good memories. So the kit goes straight up to top class, both of them. Now, 2001, 2002, once again, some very good era. I'm not as... I do like the blue kit here. Of course, I do like it. Um, and guys, as I've said before, there are a lot of kits missing out here, but we've just condensed it into everything we can find from these eras. Um, but 2001, 2002, once again, a clean white kit, but the, that amazing blue kit, which I know is on sale at the, at the, at the kit shop. And I'm going to go with very nice on that one. Don't think it's the top draw, but I think it is very nice. Now, 2002, 2003, I mean, this was, I remember this from when I was in Mallorca. With my family, we went down a horrible cobbled road. There was no showings of Leeds anywhere. And Leeds absolutely smashed up West Brom that year. And I remember Lee Bowyer scoring. I believe we won 3-0. And us getting to the end of this cobbled road. And um, yeah, we got to the end of this cobbled road. Got to this little bar. And we got in there. And it was amazing. Leeds won 3-0. I believe it was the start of the season as well. I do like these kits. So I'm going to go with this in two. Very nice. Now, this... These are the times that I don't like thinking about. I don't know why I'm involving these in the video, but I am. 2003-2004, obviously the season where Leeds sort of, well, went down. Um, not great memories. The kits as well. This is where the kits go down a little bit for me. Rad Razani saved the kits, but this is naff. Um, I wouldn't be caught wearing this. I'm not going to lie. I do not like that at all. I think it's a naff kit. So I'm going to put it in. Wouldn't be caught wearing them. 2004, 2005, once again, it's a clean kit. It's nice, but they look like they're trying to save the the, the classic yellow. Um, I believe there was, there was obviously, a, well, there was a yellow kit here, white and blue. And I just, I don't like the whole Deodora, I believe it was then. I'm just not a fan, not very nice. 2005, 2006, once again, was all right. It was okay. Once again, this is this is difficult because I'm affiliating this with bad times at Leeds. Um, but yeah, I'm just not a fan of a lot of the kits when we were all obviously like Championship, League One, pre Radrazani. I wasn't a fan. I didn't buy a lot of the kits. And that's cause, not because I was a fickle fan. I had a season ticket in bloody League One for three years. Um, I went through the tough times. Trust me, Exeter away. Stockport County away. Um, but... These just weren't good times, and I don't like the kits either. I don't get them. They look cheap. So for me, that's going to be not very good. Now, the 2006-2007 one, um, it's not too bad. The collars are a little bit naff on it. Um, blah, blah, yeah, it's all right, isn't it? it we're not going to go pretty decent, so we're going to we're going to go not very good again. <laughs> now the red kite, the emergence of the super brand that was red kite. Still got that shirt in my wardrobe. I think it. I think it was the white one. I've still got it. I didn't mind the bits down here, the sort of blue bits down here, but eh, once again, it was all right. It was okay. Bit of it. The yellow looks a little bit mucky as well. It wasn't a crystal clear yellow. I sound like I'm about to paint my room, you know, like with a murky yellow or a crystal clear white. But that's how you got to describe these kits. It is just, I just don't like that yellow. And I'm making them, you know, the white's doing okay, but the yellow's bringing it down. And the red kite, there's, there's red on a lead shirt, you know. And that's going to be the whole dispute this season. But apparently it's maroon, which I'm not bothered with. But this, I wouldn't be caught wearing this. I don't like it. Um, 2008, 2009 as well. Obviously, this reminds me of the sort of Snodgrass days, the Gradle days. I believe it was the Becchio days as well. I'm, this might have been a little bit before, actually. This could have been a bit before. Um, the days of Enoch Shawomni and Trezor Candol. I can't quite remember. You know, it's all just gone out of my head after this successful period we've had under Radvazani. This fickleness has come back and everything before is just gone. So, But this, um, is I don't like it. I don't like the stripes. What's all that about? Blue and sort of light blue, is it? And uh, yeah, I don't get it. I think this was net flights, was it? Um, yeah, uh, it's not very good again. Not very good. 2008, 2010, this, this kit reminds me of Ruby Marquez, Luciano Becchio. And this was all right. This was a little bit better. A little bit better. Once again, the yellow isn't great. But the white brings it back up again. So for this one, we're going to go for pretty decent. But it does pain me to say that's going alongside the 93, 95 pretty decent kits. Because that kit, these kits above, look at the pretty decent, pretty nice, uh, sorry, very nice top class. They are all lovely kits for me. They're all great. And just if you look at not very good and won't be caught wearing them, it's all Championship League 1. We just didn't have good manufacturers. We didn't have a lot of money in the club. So we didn't have enough professionalism for me. Um, but listen, it makes a step up. In 2010, Jermaine Beckford scored a goal in a, in in somewhere. 
in, in a bad place. In a bad place, Jermaine scored a goal. And I was there and I got thrown over about 19 seats. Um, but listen, amazing day. And this just reminds me of this kit. I actually really like this blue kit. I really like the white kit. The white kit's really understated. The blue kit is a nice navy. It has got a touch of Leeds United. Look at the rims on the side as well. Yellow. I like it. I like this. I'm going to go with this. Is very nice. So we've actually got the lower leagues in the top leagues now. Now, 2011, 2012, dark period again. El Hadj Juf. El Hadj Juf. This reminds me of. I didn't like El Hadj Juf. He wasn't Leeds. And this reminds me of him. Um, you know, this reminds me of going to Brighton. 3 3. Ross McCormack last minute. Great times, but it wasn't good times. This isn't, and this was the emergence of Leeds in the black kit. Very unusual. But the highest sellers, always the highest sellers, the black kits and the unusual kits, which is mad. So I'm going to take that one and put that in wouldn't be caught wearing them because I hated that black kit. I really hated it. And it takes off the whiteness for me. The Enterprise um, sort of sponsor, the white was all right. It was understated. I didn't like the V collar. I prefer round collars. And then we've got 2012 13. Ross McCormack, Rudy Austin, Michael, Michael Tong, Michael Brown, or as Warnock used to call him, Brownie, Tongy, Smithy. He always had a Y on the end of everything, didn't he? 12 13. Um, you know what? I don't mind the blue, but it's not Leeds United blue, it's not Navy blue. We'll go with not very good again. This not very good one is absolutely cannoning on. Now, 2013 14 was grim. Grim. 6 0 Sheffield Wednesday. Zaliukas. Jimmy Kebe. Cameron Stewart. Not good. Not good times. Matt Smith elbow sending off. I don't know why that game stands out to me, but it does. Horrible kit. What is that? Away. What is that? What does it look like? I, I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. Um, but I wouldn't be caught wearing that. It's awful. That away kit, whatever the hell it was. And that home kit. What's that lapel down the middle? It's just awful. Absolutely awful. We're going to be, you know, you know, if, if I would, if, you know, if, if I could throw that kit, I wouldn't throw it five yards. You know what I mean? Wouldn't throw it five yards. It's that bad. I wouldn't pick it up. Bit extreme there. Bit extreme. I just don't like that kit. What's, it's not Leeds that, is it? Now, 14-15, the emergence of Bianchi. Bianchi reminds me of Steve Morrison. Um, I didn't mind that away kit. I really didn't mind it. And I think was, this was when we first signed the likes of Cooper. I think we got Berardi in this year as well. But yeah, not a good time. And I'm going to go with this as not very good. I don't think it's dreadful. Now, this is where it starts to go whoop, for me. Cellino, to be fair to him, did a couple of jobs. This kit is nice. These two kits are really nice. Understated, no sponsors, leads colours. Really good fit. The only thing that lets it down is the V-neck collar. Everything else is class. I really like this. Is going top class, genuinely top class. Lewis Cook, Sam Byram, Charlie Taylor. The good days are coming back. And then 16, 17. Kyle Bartley, Pontus Janssen, Kim R. Roof. The blue kit, lovely. 32 red. The emergence of 32 red, white, blue. Absolutely gorgeous colours. Gorgeous kits. Really nice blue. Really nice uh, white. And a great season to be fair for Leeds under Gary Monk. That's going very nice. Um, now, 17-18 was a weird one. Once again, nice kits. Lasoga, Samuel Saiz, Alioski, um, Thomas Christiansen, Yuna No Kane, Dukara. But I... <laughs> uh... I, 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 listen, I think, I think the black kit's nice. I really do think the black kit's nice. I liked it, and I didn't know why I liked it, but I did. I had a bit of an affiliation towards it. The white kit is nice as well. I like the sort of gold. It was a bit different. And I keep talking about having Leeds colours, but maybe I don't like Leeds colours because I think they're a bit different and I like different because I'm a weirdo. So I'm going to go with that in. Very nice. And now we go with 18, 19. Now these are the kits. Obviously, we've got the other one missing. As I said, guys, don't be mad. Don't be mad. I've judged them. I've got the other kits in my head as well. That's what I'm judging them on. Please don't be mad. Um, but 18, 19, I love that. If you know what the coastliner is from York to Leeds, it looked like the coastliner bus seat. It really did that away kit. It looked like the coastline, coastliner bus seat. If you've ever been on a bus anywhere in the country, anywhere in the world, but especially in Great Britain, that looks like a bus seat. But I did buy it. It was different. It was lovely. The white was really nice. And I, like, I liked every kit that year. I think I bought every kit. I was in Australia, traveling around the world. And I like that. That's going top class. No, it's not. It's going very good. Very nice. Now, this 
1820. The, the, just the era. I mean, last year was Bielsa, but this year was these kits. The highest selling kit of all time. The pink and the grey, blacky. I've got it. It's amazing. It's a great fit. The white one, incredible. You know, and the other one. The other kit is lovely as well. This is going to go top class. This is going to go top class. That, that's it. That is just, it's amazing. I absolutely love that. I absolutely love it. It's a great kit. And that is going top for me. Guys, listen, it's been a little bit different. I've never done anything like this on the channel before. I hope you enjoyed. More like skip videos, tier ranking, stuff like this. It's going to come around very, very soon. I hope you've enjoyed. Please hit the subscribe button to see more of this sort of stuff. We're going to be linking up, doing more videos with other collaborators. We're doing more videos of like this. We've got more things lined up. We've got podcasts. We've just got everything. We've got everything coming up. So please subscribe to the In Full Swing with Conor McGilligan YouTube channel. Have a lovely day and I'll see you in a bit.